All right, there's just one more example. I ran out of space, so here we go. Put this into degrees, 1.68 rad. Again, start with what we know. Pi equals 180 degrees. Pi radians equals 180 degrees. That's pi radians. It's also 180 degrees. Um, well, we want 1.68 rad, so this is 3.14. So I'm going to get it back down to its unit, unit of 1. So I'm going to divide by pi. Pi rad, pi rad. Okay, so that's gone and gone. What I meant to make up with 1, 180 degrees divided by pi rad. Pi radians. Pi rad, okay. Um, now I just want to times it by 1.68 radians. On both sides to make, to give myself a, the radians on one side here. Same, same way as before. Okay, so the radians in the numerator cancel all the radians in the denominator. Um, what we're left with on this side is 1.68 radians, because we have it here again. And that equals, uh, well, 180 degrees times 1.68 divided by pi. Or, uh, well, at this stage, we can call it 3.14. So, um, 180 times 1.68 about 3.14, okay? Whatever this is, it's going to equal somewhere in the neighborhood of 96.26. The degree sign is still there, so it's going to equal that many degrees. What does? 1.68 radians, okay? Now, on a circle, what that means is that an angle of 96, okay, this, this angle here, if we were to draw a circle here, the length of this arc from here to here is 1.6 radians. 1.68 radians. All right.